Today, we are going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound ammonium hydrogen phosphate. Okay, now here I see that I have three different things, technically, three different words we'll say, right? We have ammonium, we have hydrogen, and we have phosphate. When we're making an ionic compound, we need to find two components. So there's never going to be three different things in your ionic compound. There's only going to be two. So basically, we need to find out the two different components of ammonium hydrogen phosphate. Now, I, I look at the first thing and I see, okay, I have ammonium, right? And if you scan the periodic table, you're never going to find the word ammonium which means that this is actually a polyatomic ion, and polyatomic ions have to be memorized. So in this case, I have ammonium, right? And ammonium is always NH4 with the plus one charge. So if ammonium is the first component of my ionic compound, that means hydrogen phosphate has to be the other one. And it's an ATE ending, which means that it's also a polyatomic ion. All ATEs are polyatomic ions. So I also wrote down what hydrogen phosphate is at the bottom. Hydrogen phosphate is HPO4 with the negative two charge. So just memorize these guys, use flashcards, do whatever you gotta do to just memorize these polyatomics because they're never gonna be on the periodic table. Now, since we have it, we have the two components. All we're gonna do is we're gonna take these charges, crisscross them to just say how many of each component I need. So this plus one crisscrosses down, telling me that I just need one hydrogen phosphate. And this negative two crisscrosses down, telling me that I need two ammoniums. So now I'm ready to write the formula. But here's the thing, guys. If you see that you have multiple polyatomics, in this case, I have two ammoniums, I need to use parentheses. So for the first polyatomic, the ammonium, I need to put parentheses NH4, close the parentheses, and now I say I have two of them. For the other polyatomic, the hydrogen phosphate, I only have one, so I don't have to use parentheses. So in this case, I could just write HPO4. And we're done, right? Now, for everyone who may be asking, how is this ionic? There's no metal in here. Ionic compound just means that you have to lose and gain electrons. Since there are charges, that means that you've lost and you've gained. So in this case, ammonium loses one electron, and the hydrogen phosphates, they gain two, all right? So you don't really necessarily need to have a metal. You just have to have those charges. And if you have a polyatomic ion, it's going to be ionic, all right? So ammonium hydrogen phosphate is NH42HPO4. Thank you for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you would like to. And tell your friends. Tell your classmates, all right? We've got physics videos, math videos. We have other chem videos as well. So go check the channel out. I will see you in future lessons. See you later. Bye-bye.